I want to show you how to get started with Tray or Try for AI code editing. This tool works in a similar way like Kesa or WinSafe. So you can use it in a similar way you will use WinSafe or Kesa for generating and editing code with AI. This tool was created by the team at TikTok and it is completely free to use. At the moment, it has two models available. GPT 4.0 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So in this example, we are going to use Cloud 3.5 Sonnet to create a new project. In a similar way, you create your projects in Kesa or WinSafe. So to get started, you come to this website and click the download button to download it for your machine. For the project we want to demonstrate with Tray, we want to create a computer using agent similar to the OpenAI's recently released operator agent. With the operator agent, we can build an AI system that interacts with the digital world to, for example, visit a site, book a flight, or fill a form. So for the operator agent, OpenAI did not release any API. For this reason, we are going to use an open source alternative called browser use. This is a Python library for browser automation. So with this library, we can build an AI agent that uses the browser to perform tasks on your behalf. For example, it can click through web pages, scroll through the page, navigate through it to perform a specific task. So let's get started with browser use using Trail. To install this library, you should make sure you have Python 3.11 or a later version installed. We also need to set up a Python virtual environment. So let's copy this command and launch Trail. I have it already installed. So I'm going to open a new window and navigate to an empty folder and open it as our starting point. As you have noticed, Trail is a fork of VS Code. The interface is similar to VS Code, Kesa or WinSafe. In the code editor area, for example, we can press Ctrl and backtick to bring the integrated terminal. And on the right, we can start a new chart. Then on the left, we have the files and folders explorer. Let's go back to the website again. Over here, I copied this command. We want to start by creating a new Python virtual environment for the project. So I'm going to paste it here and press the return key. Next, we have to activate it with this command. So I'll copy it and paste it here and run it. That command was also found on the page. That is this one. That is the second step. Next, we are going to install dependencies. So I'll copy this one to install browser use. That will take a while. As you have noticed, the user interface of Tray is very beautiful and clean. For our next step, I'll go back to the browser and see what we have to do. We need to install Playwright. That is a package for testing web applications. So I'm going to paste it here and run it. Next, I'm going to create a new .m file to store the API key of the model we want to use for this project. We're going to use OpenAI, but you can use Anthropic, Mistra, or any model provider you want. So in the .m file, I'm going to paste my OpenAI API key. Next, I'll create a new Python file, browseruseagent.py. Since we want to load the API key from the .m file, we need to install python.env. Next, I'm going to add all the necessary imports for the project and load.env. Then I'm going to create a new LLM instance for the model we want to use. So over here, we have specified GPT-4.0. Then we load the API key from the .env file. The next thing we should do is to create a new agent using the agent class. For our new agent, we are using the agent class of browser use. That has several parameters, but for this basic example, we need only two task. That is the prompt we want to send to the AI agent. So for this example, we want a one-way flight from Helsinki to San Francisco on 30th of January, 2025. So we want the agent to also return the cheapest option. Next, we equip the agent with the LLM we want to use. And finally, print the result. To run the agent, I'll go to the terminal and run it with Python 3 followed by the file name. That is browseruseagent.py. 
before we run the Python file, the main use of browser use is for web browsing automation. Once we run the Python file, the AI agent will be able to open a new browser, click, scroll, and navigate through the pages to find the required information. So let's go back to the code. You have noticed it has opened a new browser and without doing anything, it is going to navigate through the pages. It is now clicking the cookie. So I haven't touched the mouse at all. So it is navigating through the pages automatically. I can resize the browser so that you see what is going on. It has now found some flights. So let's wait for a moment to present the final information. It is now setting the departure date. As we scroll down, you have seen it went through several steps, starting with step one. So there is a goal and the action to take. It then went to step two and performed the necessary action. In step three, it failed. So it was able to correct itself and move on to step four to click through the consent page. In step five, it landed on the Google Flights page, performed the necessary actions. So it went through all these other steps and finally came to step 11. That was the final step. So you have noticed here, everything was successfully completed. As we specified in the prompt to find the cheapest flight, you have noticed here, we have the flight that cost 580 euros. Also, it recorded all the browser actions and created a GIF file, agenthistory.gif. So if we go to the Files and Folders Explorer, you can see we now have a new file here, agenthistory.gif. Let's minimize the terminal and click the file to open it. So it is cycling through all the steps. In total, there were 11 steps. So it will go through all the steps it took to complete the task successfully. So we now have the final step. So it will go back to step one again. So this is how to get started with Trail, the new AI code editor that works in a similar way like Kesa and WinSurf. In this video, I showed you how to use it to create an AI agent that can navigate through a website on your behalf to perform a specific task.